<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, special guest, Professor Ron Claude. That's correct. Ron is here too. And and today we're playing Red Dragon Archfiend Turbo 2019 Edition by popular request. I actually, I actually had a poll over on the dang old community tab. Yes, I use that. Maybe check it from time to time. And I asked people what we'd like to pl what they'd like me to play. I had several options of newer stuff. Uh, we just got Red Rising Dragon and Savage Strike not that long ago, so I was like, hey, why don't I try out Red Dragon Resonators? And that won the poll pretty handily. It had like 50% of the vote, and the other 50% was split between like three other options. So I made it. And, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not good. <laughs> this this deck is, uh... Is it great instead? No. Oh. No, this deck does not work very well. I would be surprised if it went 50%. It's very vulnerable, it bricks a lot. It's really kind of like an old-school synchro build, and if it doesn't go first, it has some troubles. Um, so, I feel it's important that I ask. You say 2019 edition. Would this not have worked in 2018? No, no, it wouldn't have. Not without Red Rising Dragon. I did play this before in 2017, and people have been asking for it again since, which is why I'm playing it again. But it's one of those things where it's like, I already knew this wasn't going to be good, so rather than trying to go super try-hard and add in a bunch of, like, generic cards, I instead leaned into the, the silliness. So no foreheads in this deck? No. No, I'm playing, like, Ancient Leaf as, like, a tech card. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. I'm also trying out this new Fateful Hour card that's kind of situational, and Manhunt, which is just out. Like, none of this has anything to do with the win condition. They're just cards that you can play, and I'm experimenting with Are them. you going to often have over 9,000 life points in this deck? Yes. Well, then. Hopefully. We'll see. That That's going to be hard, <laughs> hard to say. So, yeah, this deck is not good. It's not competitive. But I brought Ron along, so hopefully it should at least be fun. Hey! Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. There, I'll just go over everything in here and try to explain why it's here. Uh, otherwise, in this video, we're doing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. We'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully... I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. First duel versus Bulldog. Row, row, row. First to go, first to win. And we we want to go first, and we want to... Nope. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, fuck. Are any um, of these playable? I mean, they're playable, but the, the thing is... Okay, so we want to Synchro Summon. You yeah. know how to sync. I know you're an old school duelist. Yeah, you gotta get two things. Two things, a tuner and a non-tuner. Oh, you got no tuners. I got no tuners. I got, I got, I got a, two non-tuners, two twin twisters, which I only play two of them, so we've got both of them. So hey! If he's playing a spell, ha if he's playing, like, pendulums, or like a spell trap heavy deck, we got him! <laughs> ah, fuck. Nope. <laughs> nope, he's playing synchros too, but he is playing... Ones that seem to be working better. It's, it, it's funny, because, um, yeah, the thing is, this is like a one-card combo, if, if you could be called that. If Dang. you get this one card, and then this summons this, and then she searches this, and then this can special summon itself if you have two wins. And then you can make a big thing. But it's funny, when when I was talking to the people on the Discord about like why this deck wasn't working, someone compared it to this deck. Mm. They're like, it's the same reason people don't play Wind Witches anymore, because just ending on Crystal Wing with nothing else is not very good anymore, because it's just one negation. I see. And you have, like, your extra monster zone. The thing is, he's playing, because it's a one-card thing, he's playing that with Dark Magician stuff. Ooh. But yeah, that's the problem now, is, like, because he has this, he can negate one monster effect, which means he might be able to, like, he can pretty much just shut us down. If he feels like it. Man, this is eh, damn near an OTK. Dark Magical Circle. Spellbook of Secrets. Is it secret? No. Is it safe? I don't think there's much secret. Yep, he's gonna draw more cards. And then when he's done drawing cards, he's gonna draw some more cards. Okay, wait. Yeah. That'll show him. <laughs> That'll show him. Eat shit, you fuck. 
Ha! Take that. I'll navigate your magician. Um, oh, this ain't good. This is a card that lets me summon a dragon out of the graveyard. Like a big one, like a level 7 or 8. That's not very helpful to you right now. That we could make if we had a tuner. If we had one! <laughs> I play um, 1, 2, 6. I play 8 tuners and 3 cards that let me search any of them. So, 11 cards out of 40 are tuners. You'd think that would be consistent. You'd think, but no. Um, activate. So, spirals are all about their spies. They, yeah, it, I remember them. Yeah. Uh, declare one type of card, monster, spell, or trap, if it's on top of your opponent's deck. Um, I'm actually going to pick... I'm going to pick spell, because he's got it all this It seems likely. Stuff. Let's see. And if it's right, I get to special summon it. Ha ha! But it's monster reborn, so fuck. <laughs> oh jeez. And then when it's summoned, I can destroy a spell trap my opponent controls. That one. Unless he negates it. Does that does that let him negate it? This lets him negate monsters, yes. Oh jeez. I actually probably shouldn't have done that, but Oh, he did it. Fuck. Why didn't I think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Jack uh, Atlas is not happy about that. No. Um, well, he's going to kill you, so you might as well just play it. We lose. Um, can he disable another one? No, but I, all I can do is normal summon this guy. This guy is good if you have another Resonator. Uh, why, don't have, you, why don't you set him? That way he'll be a defense. Yeah, well, I, I have very little. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see if we can hold off for one turn. I doubt it. I have very little faith in you right now. Yeah. We did not, it did not, I told you this, this deck is, uh, it's prone to bricking, it bricks a lot, just because, because it's that old school synchro deck, like, you need a tuner and a non-tuner. Uh-oh, the Eternal Sold. That's actually kind of good for us. Is it? Yeah. Because we have twin twisters. Oh, if this face of card leaves the field, destroy all cards you control. Yeah. This, so? this thing can't be destroyed by card effects, though. Oh. Uh, add one magic knives. Chain um, it. Yeah, might as well. Ha! Huh. Now your dark magician is a dark flounder. Oh, he navigated it. Oh, yeah, I forgot this could negate. Fuck you! <laughs> Fucking Jack Atlas. Ah. He, he's the guy who played the red dragons in the anime. Oh, man. I heard he was good at going fast. Yeah, he was, the, like, the king of motorcycles. Which is, like, something. the opposite, I because I, I don't believe Atlas himself is known for being particularly quick. No. Oh. And now he's doing stuff. It's like, you've already won, you just don't know it. But yeah, so there you go. You can see this deck's weaknesses. They are many. And right at the beginning, too. And right at the beginning, too. But hopefully, we'll have at least one showing where we do good. So let's just go ahead, we're gonna skip... Look, the odds that you'll brick ten times in a row are profoundly unlikely. I mean, if nothing else, last time you were on an episode, we went 10-0. Oh no, we so shouldn't then... go 10-0, but losses instead. <laughs> Maybe we'll go 0-10. Oh ah. hard, hard to say, hard to leg. Hard to leg. <laughs> Alright, here we are, second duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, at Daniel Frowsing, which is an Instagram, about male cheerleading. So wow. check that out. Yeah, he does, like, tumbles and flips and stuff. Apparently, it's going to be made an Olympic sport. Specifically male cheerleading? No, like, all cheerleading. But huh. that's what they look at, mostly, is, like, the flips and acrobatics and stuff for it. Fascinating! Yeah, so check that out if you're interested. Unfortunately, we got a tuner. You got it! We got a red resonator. But is it enough? Uh, so we're going to normal summon it. When this is summoned, you can summon a, a monster from your hand. Um, and we're actually... You should use it, right? Yes. Um, and this guy's like, if a resonator summoned, you can summon this. Um, Are you gonna summon it? E no. We'll, we'll save it. We're just gonna summon this guy. This guy's neat because, well, first of all, here's our big combo. Here's why we play Ancient Leaf. And this is why I needed to wait for Red Rising Dragon. Red Rising Dragon, level 6. When it's summoned, summon a tuner out of your graveyard. Whoa! When this guy is special summoned, target a monster on the field, gain life points equal to its attack. Whoa! Bam, 10,000. <laughs> that went quick. So if I had Ancient Leaf, it's, it's just Pot of Greed now. I just draw two <laughs> cards. And then we just go into Red Hot Dragon, or Red Dragon Archfiend. Is he safe? 
Uh, no, he has his effect is he can wipe the field. If we had one more tuner, we could make a bigger thing, but we don't. This we seems this dangerous. Too. Yeah, but that's why we play a bunch of generic traps. We have infinite impermanence, which is good, and we have fateful hour, which is mediocre at best, but it has the potential to be good. Ah, I, I guess on the bright side, if he kills it, you can just bring it back, right? Exactly. Or I could bring something else back and then do stuff. Photon Thrasher. Uh-oh. He's, he's gonna try to thrash my photons. I don't like that. You need those for seeing. Galaxy Wizard. He's gonna whiz my photons. I don't like that. Uh-oh. Um, he can either make himself level 8, or he can search something. He's probably gonna be level 8. I don't know why he made himself level... Oh. Uh, if you control a level 5 or higher monster... Special Summon 1. Special Summon 1 from your deck and face up defense position. Alright. He doesn't, so it should be fine, right? No, he has. this can make itself level 8. Oh, it can do both? No. So this made itself level 8. Oh, he eight. already had that. Okay, I see. Oh, and then this searches a thing. Galaxy Braver. He's so strong. But now he's got all sorts of different levels. He's got a whole galaxy. He can reveal a photon, summon it. Do a thing. Be a guy. Now he's got two level eights. Oh, bet you wish you could wipe the board now. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Shit, who's that? That's a uh, Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. Uh, he can add something back to his hand, so he gets that back. He can also, during my turn, he can discard like a big gal well, either two photon or galaxy cards or one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and just destroy one monster I have. Damn, it got bigger. Um, you can detach one, target one face up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this opportunity to activate... I... Oops. <laughs> For some reason, I thought this was a different card, and I forgot what I set. Oh, no! So, yeah. Um... Oh, no! Well... <laughs> whatever. This can detach to steal something. And now he can't steal something. But he can just rank it up into that. Ugh. And then blow it up. It's so big. Ouch, my most of me. Oh, what's it? What's your face down again? Um, It lets me summon a monster that can't be normal summoned or special summoned. Oh. Wait, that can't be normal summoned or set. Yeah. So basically any extra deck monster from either player's graveyard I can summon. Oh. Are you going to summon your own? Would it help? <laughs> um, I don't think so, but I could try. Oh, wait, I could summon his thing. That wouldn't help. Uh, no, not really. Wait, what What triggers your uh, your thing blowing up the field? Uh, I just had to activate it on my turn. Oh, on your turn. Yep. Um. Well, it's really your best bet. Yep, let's just summon this. In defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> and hope we draw another tuner. <laughs> oh. That's basically... Oh, wait, no, I can search a tuner if I survive this turn. So we don't... And then I can just make this again and blow up the field. You've got 10,000 life points. True! That's another thing I forgot. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea why I was like, oh, I've got Manhunt set. I'll just wait to activate that. And then it was infinite and permanent, and I was like, how did I forget this? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Ah, you're fine. No. No, I'm not fine. Okay. And, oh, hey. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Return of the Dragon Lords. Bring this guy back. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? Remember me? So what'd you just do? He blows up all special summoned monsters who have attack, oh, equal or less than his. So most of them. No, just one. Oh, and he's countering it. Yep. Um, I can banish this to stop it from being destroyed. Uh, Would that help? Yes, actually. And you do 500 for each. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a problem. Wait, no. I think I've got this. Ish. <laughs> Prove me wrong! Get this. Um... Now, just be sure, can his Ixie guys stop you? No, they don't have quick effects. 
Oh, good. The problem is, I don't have a lot of stuff to deal with things that have, like, more than... than 4,000... Uh, no, 4,000 or more? Yeah. There's not a lot of stuff that does have 4,000 or more. So, so it's, it's like, not usually a problem. It's not usually a problem. Chain resonator. Um, yeah, let's put this on the field just to try and save my life. <laughs> So this guy, if a if you normal summon it while you have a synchro monster, you could summon a resonator from the deck. Ah. Hey, what's up? My name is Red Resonator. I'll be targeting your four thousand. Thank you. <laughs> Back to eighty one. We're still in the game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not over nine. No, it's not over nine thousand. Ah. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think I can do this. Consider the plays. Okay. I'm going to use these two. Link monster, underclock taker. Just any two two monsters. What's he do? Um, well, here, I'll show you. I Ooh. will show you. And then we'll make this thing. Best guy. He's on the sleeves for a reason. Look at him. Oh, so, so cool. Target a monster this card points to. It just points down into the left. And then target a monster your opponent controls. Your opponent's monster loses attack equal to how much its attack was. Just permanently? Yes. Or Damn. no, for this turn, I oh, believe. Okay. But either way, it gives me the chance to attack over it. So I could be like, bam. And then when this guy deals damage, he summons a resonator. Um, Red. I I can't use the effect again. Damn that it. would be awesome. <laughs> but I can summon this. It's just, it's free real estate. Meh. And then, he's got the 32, so I'm going to Red Hot Archdragon Bane. He's level 10, so you get your level 1, the level 9, 9 you just did, make him. You just climb the ladder. And his effect is you contribute a monster, summon a red dragon from the graveyard. <laughs> so he just, but he came back. Oh. And this guy is important because he has a quick effect. During either player's turn, you can target any card and negate it. It doesn't destroy it, but, like, that means spell traps. He, I could just, like, be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. Nah. So, he, what he's most likely going to do is search another copy of this, and then he could make, uh, he could make something, he could make a Cyber Dragon Infinity, and I don't want him to do that, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a problem. I like that nega- Oh. Aw. Oh. Oh. He bluffed me. Did he? Yeah. No, he'd have done it. He'd have just saved no, it if you hadn't. No, because here's the thing. In order to summon this, you have to discard a light monster. So it's like, if he had another monster in his hand... Oh, and wait, could... that's Nova. Yeah, but Nova goes into infinity. Oh. It's like, if he had another light monster in his hand, he would have searched that one, done this, oh. made this. Fortunately, though... Okay, so he could take that. Oh. Shit. But he can't attack over. He has to suicide. And suicide is painless. Oh, jeez. It brings on many changes. Mash it up. Yep. And I still have a hundred more than him, so I'm in the game, baby. That doesn't mean anything, and I believe that you are to knowing it. <laughs> yeah. He's got one negate, or he's got, he can negate every turn with this. Ooh. And, um... You're top decking. I'm top decking, so I need to, like, draw a card and then wait and then... You're gonna draw, draw card. a leaf and die. <laughs> Yeah, if I draw Ancient Leaf, I'm dead. Well, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Maybe we tricked into doing something about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, you know, if I'd drawn this at any point before this, I'd get a free two cards. Pot of Greed. You draw it any time after that, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Yep. I mean, I might be able to stall long enough to do something. Nope. No. <laughs> now I get manhunt. Sadness. I felt, yeah, like I said, if, if, what was it, um, the Galaxy Soldier, when it's summoned... Oh, you're he dead. Can, he can add any galaxy from his deck to his hand. He's gonna negate it. I know, but I can still try. I'm just using it as a chance to explain everything. Oh, sorry. Because I want to explain my choices, because it's like, if he had this, when it's summoned, it searches any other galaxy. And you could discard any light monster to summon it. Mm. So if I had not negated that... And he had searched one, and he had another, any other light monster in his hand, in a deck full of light monsters. He would have made this. Oh. But he had that spell. He that didn't have a light monster. Yeah. If, God damn if it. If I had let the search go through, he didn't have anything to discard for it. Oh, man. 
and then I then he would have played the spell, and I could have negated the spell, and then I'd be mm. fine. Oh, well. But I almost did stuff. <laughs> At least you can kind of see kind of what this is doing. Maybe we'll actually get a win going into the third duel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are, third duel, this time brought to you by DeviantArt slash Godram. Who's, he does, like, Dragon Ball Z stuff. Check him out. Oh, pretty, man. Yeah, he, like, draws Vegito and shit. I like Dragon it's, Ball Z. It's pretty neat. We got a we got a tuner and a non-tuner, but they're not the best ones. We do have this though, which is nice. Can you do anything about the sheer noise? Um, yes, because I have this, which is pretty nice. Also, I've got sheer noise on this, because he's gonna be like, I'm a Unizombo, <gasps> and I'm gonna be like infinite and permanence. If you control no cards, you can activate it from your hand. Mm. So it's just like no effect for you, good sir. I appreciate it. Ah, oh. shit. Ah, shit. One for one. Yep. And he, he got his mazook. Ah, oh, he threw mazooki in the garbage where it belongs. So, like, this is a level tuner. It can ch or level seven. Or, ugh, it's a tuner. It can change its level by sending stuff from the tuning where. What is this? 2009? Wow. He's like Tupperware, but different. Oh, this is not a tuner. Okay, so he can still make his level 8 thanks to 1 for 1. Fuck. I'm not even going against good decks. I'm just going against they getting lucky. You've got his 1s. If only you had 1s. 1 for 1 is it 1. I do have 1s, but they're not worth running 1. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, but you're doing it better than me. <laughs> Is that premature burial? A uh, foolish burial. Ah, oh, that's different. Yeah, it's fundamentally Is premature different. Banned? Um, yes, I believe so. That's the one that lets you summon from the graveyard, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> oh, hey, everything turned out better than expected. It's a Red Dragon Archfiend deck. He said so. What a coincidence! <laughs> yeah, it's a Red Dragon Archfiend deck. <laughs> what a coincidence. There's only one O in coincidence. Don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Um. Ooh, what's <laughs> this? Um. Let's see if we can activate. Yeah, let's try to activate this first. Monster? I don't know. Yes. Oh, uh, it's a mazook. It's a mazook. I don't have any spells. Normal summon. I could special summon this from my hand, but I don't need to. Is that the one that gives you special effects? Yes. So, that's the one that's basically, like, if you can get Red Resonator and a level 4, like, you got this, bro. Yeah. Which one makes you eat their life points? This guy. 3,000. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Perfectly symmetrical violence. <laughs> but, Synchron Resonator. If you control a... This deck is surprisingly very consistent. Oh, if only Gurps was. I know. But yeah, if you control... if you could, Oh no, if a Synchro's on the field, you could special summon it. Then, you can make Abyss. Hey. And then when Synchron Resonator is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Resonator from your graveyard to your hand. So, if, assuming I drew another level 4, I'm set up to do it again next turn. Ha! Hey, that's pretty good. Attack. <laughs> uh. Perfectly symmetrical violence. Get me this back. It's not gonna do anything. I wouldn't make Archfiend Bane right here, because this has a negate and the other guy doesn't. And I don't have anything to tribute <laughs> for it. I do have traps, though. So, we got that. Get your man... Oh, wait, wait. Shouldn't, uh, during his standby phase, can you witch an hour his dragon? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't I don't want to, though. I kind of want to save it for, for like, either a, a revenge play or something, because what if he, like, Raigekis? Oh. Do people oh, do that? Oh, he's got the resonators. <laughs> what are the chances? Like, <laughs> God, people are going to think this shit is, like, faked or something. Like, I'm setting shit up. Like, no, you came up with this name right now. I specifically changed my name so that people don't know that it's Hard Leg playing. Yeah. 
No one would suspect that you knew anything about Magic the Gathering. Um, eh. No, you don't get anything. Oof. Red War, you fiend! Uh, okay. That's why you play Red War, because that way if your normal summon doesn't go off, you still get this. Oh no! And now he has a level 8. That's why you want this. It's like, if a Resonator summon, get that. Make the other guy... Raigeki, I should have known! Wow, you were right! <laughs> Is that still one? Um, still one what? Like, limited to one? Yes. And Dark Hole went back to one, which is weird, because you got Raigeki and Dark Hole both at one. Oh, they're back. It's like they're... They're like old friends. Dark Hole was at two for a while, and then they brought it back to that one. That was too many. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay, okay, there we go. Um, Witching Hour. <laughs> This is why I saved it. Come back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't know it was a hard once per turn. Well, I guess I gotta steal this then. This is Manhunt. This is a new trap. Fuck. Infinity? What's that about? Oh, it just means it's connected to this. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, this is uh, target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it. Uh, cannot attack or activate its effects, and when it leaves the field, destroy this card. Oh, that's fun. Simple. Simple and cleans the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let um, it go. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Got some action in the third duel. Normal summon. Wait, isn't that the one that gives you life points? Uh, if I can special summon it, which I can't, that's illegal. <laughs> Stealing other people's monsters. <laughs> and when this guy... <laughs> oh, that's very good. It works really good in the mirror match. Um, uh, <laughs> that's illegal. Two tuners with the same deck. One from, Oh yeah, one from your graveyard, one from your deck. There we go. Oh, jeez, what? Yeah, he summons two. Can you... 3,500! <laughs> Wait, can you take those two and put them together? Um, I think so. No, the, the only level 12 I have takes two tuners. There's the two point right is, there. I can get... Yeah, but it, they, they're level two, so they don't equal 12. Uh, oh, only two tuners? Yeah, it has to specifically be two tuners and a non-tuner, and they have to equal level 12. Oh, so you need a level eight. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing is... GG. I beat Red Dra I can beat Red <laughs> Dragon Archfeet! Indeed. It was an honor. Oh, maybe he means he's going to destroy you. Check out Hard Leg Gaming on YouTube. Whoops. <laughs> uh, ah, there we go. Good plugs, good plugs. Good plugs. Lord of the plugs. Plug man do. Oh, he still did that. I thought he, like, was suiciding. Like, I surrendered to Dr. Manhattan. Wait, what? That, that's my <laughs> meme. What was it? There's... It, it, it's a weird meme, because no one ever actually says that, but... Did he make a red... <laughs> I'm him. <laughs> He's going to do an episode on it... Oh, dang! ...in, like... <laughs> ...a week... It will be out. <laughs> Neat. I wonder if he really... <laughs> I don't think he realizes. Oh. Neat. How do you know that? Hey, oh. hey, Bomb Man, if you're watching this in the future, yo, Ron says, what's up? What's up? How's it going? You were this guy. <laughs> it's ballin'. You're Doom King Ballardrock. Oh. I just want to see how many life points I can get in the, by the end of this. Well, no excuse for bad manners, I mean. I just wanted to get 18,000 life points. How often is that going to happen? Uh, if you do it right, pretty often. <laughs> Have a nice day. Well, that was fun. At least we got one win. We're not going zero and zero. Not this time. All right, here we are. Fourth duel versus Kitsunebula. Oh, Kitsunebula. It's like a Kitsune Nebula. Yeah, something like that. And this duel is brought to you by Patreon sponsor Live Bait, newer patron, but he checks out. Well, fuck. 
Well, that's fine. And I, I do also want to explain, because normally I only do shout-outs every other duel. But I have too many. So, mm. so I need to fit them in. I hope you don't mind. Uh, but I, I should note that I'm going to be changing the shout-out soon. So this, maybe like two more episodes, should be the only ones where you have to see, see shout-outs. Then they're going to be like at the end of the video. So look forward to that. But for now, suffer along with me. Yeah. <laughs> also, thanks to Live Bay. That doesn't count. That doesn't count, but thanks to him regardless. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, the real fourth duel, still brought to you by Live Bait, versus Isluft. <laughs> Fun to say. It almost, Fun to leg. It almost looks like it says slut, but it does not. Not quite. I can quite. assure you of that. Um, You've got to give a... Uh... Please don't negate this. Thank oh, you. Oh, man. I appreciate it. You're a real bro. See, something you said in the middle there really got me thinking. What if you gave Zombie Ocean Man an umbrella? <laughs> uh, uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in danger! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't do nothing, can you? No, I can do something, but it's not gonna be good for me. Uh-oh. Um, I can't... I don't have the right level 1 synchro. Oh, try to summon, uh... Your f level 4 guy. That's fine, I'll just summon this thing. Is eh. that helpful? I mean, it's a level 4. So I can... The thing is, I can do my, my level 8 combo. My standard level 8 combo. But he's playing, like, a a meta-tier control deck. Are you sure? Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's playing sub-terrors. Guru control, pretty strong. Like, it's not like... What was it? Like, they have the top 32 breakdown... Yeah. There's only, like, two guru control in there. That's too, too many. But it it is still, so like, it can compete. It's never won, like, a YCS. But it's, it's... There are no red dragons in that list, is what I'm saying. I would hope not. And it's one of those things where it's like, having a negate would really help. Having this doesn't help me. It's pretty much, it might as well just be a 3,000 normal monster. Oh, terraforming. Yep. You're I'm, I'm gonna need my spell trap removal. I'm gonna need a lot of it. You're not gonna have enough. The other thing is he plays a lot of, like, face-down monsters, and this can't destroy those. What is this? When a card is activated, you can change, uh, let's see, once per turn, when an opponent monster declares an attack, change a face-down defense position, sub-terror to face-up attack position, then negate the attack. Wow! And he can flip a sub-terror, and then Guru is like, flip, add a sub-terror from your deck to your hand. And then you get this trap, and the trap is bullshit. I don't like it. I think you're doomed. Yeah, I'm I'm very much doomed. Um, I have Spiral Sleeper Agent. I could... Super Agent. Super Agent. Activate. He could have... He has equal amounts of monster... Let's try monster again. I'm, I'm gonna assume... Yay! Hey, it's, it's another Guru. Uh, no, it was the lady, I believe. They all look the same to me. <laughs> Racist. Let's get rid of that, because I want to be able to attack. Being able to attack He's is He's just nice. going to get another one. Nope, he can negate it. Yeah, she can. she's a hand trap. She can negate stuff by flipping a monster face down. That's stupid. And then he can also has a quick effect that flips stuff face down. But I came back. <laughs> but the point is, if I attack, then he's going to negate the attack... And flip it face up. And flip it face up. Um, Can you do anything with, with synchros? I might be able to. I forget if this is a hard once... Yeah, you can only use each effect of sub Phoenix once per turn. You can use that more than once per turn, though. Ugh. Fucking Ash Blossom. Big forehead, forehead motherfucker coming around here. Eating all my shit. Trying to pretend like I don't know who I am. Um, let's see. This has 1,800. That will negate everything. He can negate one attack, but he can't negate two attacks. All he can do is flip it face up. What if he's got a mirror force? Then we're... Then I'm fucked. I'm just straight up... <coughs> just buy me the pickle farm. <laughs> Nothing I can do. And this thing, when it's flipped face up... He gets to search. I think he can only use each one once per turn. Okay. He already flipped it down this turn. Yeah, he flipped that. He flipped it down, but he but can still search. But he's probably got something. Umastrix, big old flip monster. 
So I can attack this. He's probably got something to block it. He's got final battle. You could do one of these four effects. One of them is add a, the defense of a monster to its attack. Which will give him like 3200. I'm going to negate it. <laughs> he has a second one. <laughs> can you negate that one too? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> fuck. Ah. Uh. Fuck shit fuck. And then when it deals da when a monster inflicts damage, add a subterror from your graveyard to your hand. So then he gets that thing that can negate anything back. Oh. And the thing about this is when you activate it, then you can just set it again. That's ignorant. So as every shit. turn you can just like double something's attack effectively. It's not really a final battle. No. It's like a uh, a battle every day. It's one of these things like they made this for this archetype. And it was fine that it was, like, so broken because the archetype didn't have, like, any good cards, hardly. And then they got a bunch of support. Then they just got this card. This card makes... That's why it's called Guru Control. Oh, because it's all him. Yeah. It's all him doing stuff. You can just set... Yeah, basically what they used to be is these big flip monsters. They're like, when you set a sub-terror, special summon it. And then it has, like, a flip effect. And their field spell lets you, like flip stuff a whole bunch. As often as you want. <laughs> as often as you want. It's like, target a monster, banish it. Hey, that's pretty neat. Jeez. Yeah. Once per turn when a face-up monster you control is flipped face down. Ugh. This is disgusting. I do not like this it's, one. It's not entirely disgusting, but it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you took, the, there's like six big monsters and now the deck is like Guru, the Hand Trap, a couple other little monsters, and like this one big guy. <laughs> like all the sub terror behemoths are like, who would play those? Fuck it. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? It's final battling again. This has four effects. Which one are you using? Well, you can't um, stop it. Change either way. one. F set monster on the field. Okay. Ah, he put it face down and then flipped it up. Yep. And that did its gonna effect. Banish my dude. Um, two, four. Okay, I'm good because I have 9,900. I just gotta hope I don't top deck ancient fucking leaf again. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna. Oh, you're gonna. Oh wait, does this do anything when it inflicts damage? No, but he can add stuff back to his hand. Yeah, just... no, he's got you. Possibly, I have I have essentially monster reborn. And then this guy's like, if you control no monsters, you could summon a tuner, which means I can get my things back. He's only got one negate. And then he's just got a bunch of attack manipulation. But I should be able to do other things. Hey, that helps a lot. But does it help enough? Um, so let's see. Will he just negate it? Oh, yeah. Well, definitely, he has to negate that, pretty much. You don't want to see that again. He's like, I'm out of Um, like, um... Fuck. I shouldn't have activated that. <laughs> I should have summoned this first because it's all, well, it only works if you have no monsters. Jeez. Well, at least this guy... He can blow up this? No, he's just gonna flip it. Can't do nothing. Yep, I've, I'm fucked. <laughs> just, just... No, just, you, you don't surrender just... on these, do you? No, I don't surrender, but uh, I won't make everyone watch it. Ugh. So I'll just skip ahead. Was, yeah. Was, I mean, even if I had, I'm trying to think. If I had normal summoned this, he would have. He would probably used it on this. Just flip this face down, and then I wouldn't have been able to get it. And then I summon that, and like, then I can destroy this, and With, do 500 damage. Yeah, that's and nothing. He's still going to be able to like sub terror cave clash and sub terror final battle. Is Guru at least at one? No. That's horseshit. But that's, that's the thing, it's like, you know, the, these guys are at, uh, like, all this is at three? That's insane. Barely meta. Barely even good. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Put it to one. <laughs> throw it in the garbage with dragon rulers. No, throw Mystic Mine in the garbage. No, that's fine. <laughs> I have to show you Mystic Mine real quick. Next duel. <laughs> Mystic Mine.
If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, your opponent cannot activate monster effects or declare an attack. If you control more monsters than your opponent does, you cannot activate monster effects or declare an attack. Once per turn, during the end phase, if both players control the same number of monsters, destroy this card. That's fine. No, see, the thing is, they play this with, like, a whole bunch of, like, traps and shit. Like, they basically play Chain Burn with this. And mm. there's, uh, so they're like, you know, what was it? They'll play this, there's a card called Metaverse that lets you activate a field spell from the deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they play, like, Ojama Trio. And they're like, <laughs> you have three monsters now. You can't activate monster effects or attack. You can link away those Ojamas but you'll still control a monster that can't activate its effect or attack. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to be set five passing every turn and just activating burn cards. I feel that's more fun than facing uh, this, these undersea subterrors. I, I had a chance against the subterrors. I'm not convinced I, you I did. did. I did stuff. I could activate my cards. I wasn't just like... Yeah, you... for the, hold on. You could activate cards for the first two turns, but not any that did anything. You yeah. could activate cards he let you. You I, didn't actually play the game. But I you felt, were just I felt like I was. You weren't Mystic though. Mystic Mine is you can't play the game and it just outright says like, "Hey, all those monsters in your hand, useless." <laughs> all right, here we are, fifth duel. Is fifth duel. We're? Fifth duel versus my arch nemesis player. And this duel is brought to you by Lucas Geardis. I like that name. Yeah, it's a pretty cool name. I like it. I'm going to do Resonator Call. Let's us search a Resonator. Hey, um... Hard to Reza, hard to Nader. It's a Resonator Nader. Hey, 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 pay no mind. Um, and we're going to... We're just going to grab this one so we don't have to run out of it. Normally oh, you want Red Resonator. He's better. I play one more level two. Yeah. Just for the, the things. And we don't need this guy because we're just going to summon Red Warg. I like him. And we're not going to gain life points because he's sick, so we're just going to go straight into... Oof. This guy. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. You may have heard of me. My name is Red Dragon Archfiend. I'm kind of famous. I had a duelist. He famously had an accent that was not quite Australian and not quite British. It was just sort of like this. Almost. Oh, that's pretty close. But... My very soul. I don't know, I practiced it, and now I can't remember. My throat's kind of scratchy because I've been recording for a while. Someday. You make me talk a whole lot. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's good, I get to, oh, fuck. Oh, I... damn! Fuck! Ah, you were no! just talking about this! I just explained this to you! <laughs> um... Fuck you? No, he's probably got something down. Wait, that worked? It didn't seem to actually do anything, though. Oh, because it hadn't activated yet. Um... Well, can you attack? No, you no, don't know yet. I can't. That's because stupid. I, I have Why more... didn't it stop it? I don't know. I can't. I have more monsters than him. Ah. So I can't attack. I can't activate effects. Um, I could summon... Do you have anything that's not affected by card effects? Nope. <laughs> oh, should probably get one of those. Probably. I have this thing that negates monsters. He didn't have any monsters in his deck, though. No, that won't help. So when does it well, destroy your card? It doesn't. Oh, I thought it did at the uh, it, end of the it turn. It destroys if we both control the same amount of monsters. We don't. Ah. And we never will, because he's never going to have a monster. <laughs> well, isn't this a fun and dandy time? Oh, I wonder geez. why he's not activating the things. Yeah, it's like, what's, what's going on here? Metaverse. Oh, there it goes. All right. Just adding another copy of Mystic Mind to his hand. Well, also freeing up the... Seer's Passbook. Banish three cards. Uh, then, during the third standby phase, activate. Afterwards, oh, damn. add them to your hand. It's playing the long game. Um, the long, boring game. I can't, I can't even activate this in my hand. Oof. Uh... Yeah, my, my thing is, I have two Twin Twisters in my deck. Uh, We're going to wait until we draw them. Well, even then, it won't matter unless you can kill him in that turn. I'm just... Because he'll just... I might be able to. Pull one in. Oh, hey. Pot of Extravagance. Indul... Uh, okay. Yeah. I was reading You gotta, you gotta look at the text at the bottom, not on the card. That's like the early translate. Ah. 
So at the start of your main phase, banish three or six random face down cards. Draw one card for every three cards you banish. Hey, look at the cards you banished, can you? Nope, they're face down. All of them? That's yeah. bullshit. Oh, jeez, secret barrel. Yeah, he's just playing burn stuff. He just wants me to have a whole bunch of stuff on the... Ooh. <laughs> Is it too late to do anything? A lot of them play Dark Bribe. <laughs> eh? Metaverse? Yeah. You can activate it from the deck. And then it's like, I don't target the zone, I'm targeting that card, and that card's not going to be there anymore. Well. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Now he's got all three. Hey, it's gone. Why Why did you do that? Um, Activate. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's a trap. <laughs> Is it a trap? Show me. No, it's one day of peace. Ah. Gosh darn it. Um, I don't think you can do it this turn. I could do not much damage. Uh, can you get uh, 9,000 life points? No, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, because I I got this thing already and I can't get it out of the extra monster zone very easily. Ah. Um. Well, actually, okay. Here, let's attack this. Probably won't work. See if he's got magic cylinder or something. Wabaku. Waboku. Give me a Wabafet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that worked. Wabafet. Okay, um... Let's this... see here. I'm going to make Pentastag, because it... I can. Is that helpful? Not really. It lets me do piercing damage. So, you know, if I wanted to do piercing damage, I could. If you had a monster in defense mode. Is that helpful? That's not helpful. Why would you do that? Because I want to gain as many life points as I can. Because I'm hoping maybe he's drawn through his deck so fast that he can't do, like, a whole bunch of life points. <laughs> that's that's my only hope. Like, I can negate <laughs> one card until he activates that next Mystic Mine, and that's about it. What? Uh, when this card snake or summon, you can target run, you can add special summon monsters from the extra deck during the turn. I thought it was for the rest of the turn. Damn it. Well. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, here, here it comes. Well, I've got another MS, I got another mystical space typhoon in there somewhere. <laughs> or not oh. mystical. I got another twin twisters somewhere in those cards. Yeah, there it is. Is that, the, is that the third one? Yeah, that's the third one. Hey, I take no damage next turn. Is that helpful? So there's that. I wonder if he's playing Exodia. Oh, man. Check his graveyard. Interesting. Why, why are you playing so many draw cards? I've got to assume he's going for Exodia. You probably no way he can't, because he's playing... He's playing a shit ton of Banish. No, but he's also playing, whatchamacallit, um... Fuck. Wait. Wait. I... Oh, oh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I was, I was like, like, don't do oh, it! Oh, wait, I could do stuff! Oh, wait, no! No, I'm not allowed! <laughs> no, you can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Um... I'll just make one of these. And then I'll make Equimax. What's he do? A bunch of stuff. Or not. Normally he does a bunch of stuff. Now he can't do hardly any stuff, but normally he does a bunch of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, he's, uh... This link, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, your monsters cannot target other monsters for attacks. Oh, he's got so many cards! Once per battle during damage calc, if this battle is a special summon monster, this card gains attack equal to the opponent's monster's attack. And if it's sent to the he graveyard... He can't actually do anything! I mean, neither can I. Well, yeah, but he'll run out of cards for... Oh, there it is. How much damage does that do? Um, 200 for every card they control. 300 for every card they control. 300 for every card they control. This gives me three cards to control. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of damage.
All right. Can Two, you get rid four, of them? Six, seven, eight. Yep. Um. Uh, oh, I can't activate monster effects. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I could gain more life points. It's like, no, no, you can't. Eh. Well, I've certainly got a thing. Um, Damn. He's got you dead to rights. He's got me dead dead to rights. Oh, this isn't even... End statement. End statement, yeah. Are you sure that Guru Control was more was less fun than Mystic Mind? You know what? <laughs> I feel it. I still feel it was. At least I got to make big monsters. I mean, they don't do anything, but at least I have them. Yeah. Just desserts. Ooh. Do you want to eat full dinner? No, just desserts. <laughs> Never gonna be able to activate this ancient leaf. Ooh. And cease fire. You cease in my fire. Ripping pepperoni. Using ring of destruction on this. Wait, can you use your own card to destroy it? You got a manhunt, right? Uh, that lets me target a face-up monster. He don't have any face-up monsters. He ain't got nothing. Nope. Uh... Eh. Be afraid. Look at his chain. Oh. He's ding-dangling his way across the world. I'm gonna preemptively mark this as loss. Yeah. If he activates, he can poke me with a pillow and kill me. If he activates I'm sure he's got three anyway. pillows down. He's got secret barrel, and he's drawing more cards just in case that secret barrel doesn't work. Yeah, that one worked. <laughs> Man. All oh. right, next time. What was that, the fifth duel? Yep. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? We're at the halfway point. You, hopefully you're enjoying the, the show so far. You like me and Ron trying to keep up our uh, morale while facing Mystic Mind and Guru Control? It's disheartening. It's disheartening, <laughs> but hopefully you like the battle because uh, you made it this far. I just like to say, like, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, smash that, that like button. Or what was it that Philip DeFranco said? Uh, oh, yeah. Smash that like button or I'll throat punch you. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, I told people to do that, and we had three times as many likes. So apparently, people respond to throat punches. Wow. So that that's my... I'm just glad you didn't decide to threaten me with the throat punch if they didn't subscribe. No, I would never throat punch you. No no matter what. I appreciate I, that. Yeah, no no amount of subscribers is worth hurting my friend Ron. Aww. Uh, but yeah, be, be sure to do those things. Check out the Patreon. We're funded enti almost entirely by Patreon. I have ads, but that makes up like one-fiftieth of my actual revenue. Which allows me to play stuff like this. If I was all ad revenue, I'd have to play, like, nothing but the most popular newest decks. And now I get to make fan-favorite decks, even if they don't work very well. Not very well. And I guess while we're I should also say, I have another uh, channel called Legs Play, where we do Let's Plays, but with hard leg. You get it? Do you, do you get it? And Ron, Some of the games are hard. Some of the games are hard. And Ron is on there. If you're liking Ron and you're like, hey, I'd like to hear more banter with Ron. Hey. I have a channel with a whole bunch of that. You can go check that out. We did a Ronin Let's Play. That was really fun. We should do more of that. We should. And and One Piece Pirate Warriors is coming up. If you like Dynasty Warriors, be it's... sure to check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to take a moment <laughs> to say all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll, we'll let's, just, let's just get right back into the duel, shall just we? jump right into it. I'm going to activate Ancient Leaf. No, you're not. <laughs> you're going to have to go to duel 12 for that. <laughs> All right, here we are, duel 6, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Inner Hype, our resident counter fairy enthusiast. Ooh. Or as he calls them counter angels, because he doesn't like the word fairy, and they're like angels, and what was it? In the outfield? Fa fairies are angels and fiends are demons in the OCG. Ah. Those types got changed. Kind of like kind of like fairy type in a, in Pokemon, I think, is like angel type or like light type or something. Is it? Yeah. It's like not called fairy in, in Japan. I did not That's know that. That's just like how they translate it. Is steel type still steel type? I believe so. Huh. Or it might be like metal type. What did he play? Would make more sense. He played sense. a card. He's doing harpy, harpy stuff. Harpies? Yep. Uh-oh. You can discard one harpy card, summon a thing from a, from the deck. And I'm like, I don't want you to summon things from the deck. I'm going to be like, nah. Got summon harpy's pet dragon. Go away, fuck you. And harpy's brother's pet dragon. 
Fuck you, you limey cunt. Damn. I That'll didn't get... say the full word. I said cunt. And then I went, ugh. That sounds even worse, it. though. Whatever. Close enough. Oh, they, they don't know what to do since you blocked it. Um, uh, let's see. All their cards get effects when they're, like, destroyed, so... Yeah, I'm full of fucking shit. Oh, who's that? Uh, Harpy Harpist. That's ironic. <laughs> yeah. If she's in the graveyard and she was sent there that turn, during the end phase, you could search a Harpy. Aw. Or it's like any winged beast, so he's like, I'm just gonna do that again, because that's the only card he has that gets him, like, two things on the thing. Um, let's see. Okay. So, I don't want to destroy his spell traps that I don't know what they are, because he might search off of them, and I don't like that. Man. Um, add one elegant, he get yeah. That, like, during the end phase of the turn, this was sent to the graveyard. Add three harpies with different names from your deck. Sounds like so right. So if you destroy that shit, you're fucked. Well, you gotta have hysteric got, sign for yeah. harpies. So we're gonna normal summon. And then this guy's like, if you control a resonator, you could special summon him. Yo, what's up? And then I'm going to make high speed roid Chambara. What? It's a big fucking blade. <laughs> That's pretty strong. When it attacks, it gains 200 attack. Just permanently? Yep. And it can attack twice. Whoa! Every turn. So eventually it might be something to deal with. Either way, it's just a bunch of extra damage. And we got that one guy, the guy who, the same guy who's like, if you control a resonator, I come along too. He'll invite me in, like a bouncer, letting me into the club. Mm. Uh, the, the next uh -oh. turn, after he's in the graveyard, you can banish him, search a resonator. Yeah. So that means next turn, when he inevitably gets rid of this, I can do my resonator combos. Summon the red guy. Summon the red guy. Get the life points. Activate Ancient Leaf, unless he's just gonna, like, fuck me over right here. What's the perfumer? He might. I don't know. They've got new support, and I never read Man, it. Man, all these harpies are cute. When a harpy lady or sisters is destroyed, you can special summon one harpy from your deck with a different name. If this card is destroyed, target one harpy in your graveyard and special oh, summon it. Was that Egotist? Yep. That's classic. Sisters. This card becomes Harpy Lady when it's on the field or in the graveyard. Uh, you can add one spell trap. If you control level five or higher, you can also add a second card with a different name. That's only when you actually. So he should have done. He should have done this first. Whoa, who's that? Time thief redoer. God damn it! Good old time thieves. What's he even doing there? He's thieving. Get my out time. of these harpies. He can detach all his stuff and do stuff. Target three harpy ladies in your graveyard, shuffle them to the deck, draw one card. If you controlled level five or higher, you could draw two cards. But you don't have to. You can only special summon wind for the rest of this turn. Another hyster add another elegant egotist. <laughs> you can use that to summon even more harpy ladies. Who would win? A whole team of harpy ladies and their sisters, or one big blady boy? Oh, I'd call him a stabby boy. <laughs> now 26. What's the when mirror do? When it's destroyed do? by battle, he can special summon another harpy from the deck with a different name. It, what's so, it destroyed by? Oh, he crashed it into Yeah, you. he crashed into it so he could summon something. What's uh, he gonna get? What? And then he's got an egotist who so could summon another sister. <laughs> summon sisters back out of the graveyard, I think. Oh, it's this girl again. Oh, hello, um, Oracle. Oh, no, that's different. Uh, let's see. If this card is normal, you can add one spell trap from your graveyard to your hand that specifically lists Harpy Lady Sisters in its text during the end phase. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> oh, hey. Harpy Lady number one! Hey. This card's name is always treated as Harpy Lady, even in the deck. So you can't play her and Harpy Lady like two, because in the deck they count as Harpy Lady. Well, you can play them, just not three of them. Yeah. OCG artwork. Body suits, nah, dog. Borat style thong. Oh yeah. Whoa! Lightning Chidori. This escalated quickly. Yep. Return one card to the bottom of the deck. Damn. It's pretty nice. It needs wind monsters specifically, so it's pretty good at harpies. And it's a thundercat. How often can it do that? Once per turn. During his turn. Okay. If he detaches a material, so it has ammo, and he has to use that ammo effectively. Oh, harpies hunting ground. That's fine, I have, like, no spell traps. Oh, wait, there's a spell trap. <laughs> uh, oh, see. Redoer, what are you doing? During your standby phase, you can attach the top card of your opponent's deck to this card as material. Can you stop it? Nope. And then he can detach all his material, and he gains defects depending on if it's a spell trap or monster. Oh, uh, he ate your monster. Yeah, which is fine, because all the monster does is he can banish himself. 
until the end phase. Ah. So he just like, I'm outy. Now I just gotta hope he doesn't play forehead. Uh oh. He's got something Why is it to activate. Waiting? Oh wait, no, this can activate at any time. All right. Um. Yay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I still don't want to. I still don't want to blow up his stuff. Ah. That's just not something I want to do. You're very polite. You should destroy his harpy's hunting ground, though. When he, he plays it. Yeah, when he plays that, I'll do it. But um, I don't see why he wouldn't play it right away. Let's do this. Hello. I am a super agent. Hello. Let's just hope this is... If this turns out to be, like, Solemn Strike or something like that, where it's like, oh, you should have destroyed that. You should have oh. totally destroyed that. Summon. Hello, darkness. My old friend. Hey. More life points. Don't you dare negate that. <laughs> if you even negate that... I guess he could tag out and then I wouldn't gain life points. He's probably reading, trying to... Okay, good. And I resolve Ancient Leaf! Do you? You might not resolve it. You I did resolved it. Now it. Now do it again. I don't have more than 9,000. <laughs> what? What happened to him? I, oh, you paid 2,000. Ah, 2, that's um, the saddest thing. It's the saddest song. Um, But that's fine. I make this guy... You remember this guy. Yeah, you he's, gotta use him to murder the Chidori. He's got a big old gauntlet. He's looking at it like, would you look at the time? Ugh. It's destruction time. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna and he's like, of this gauntlet. And this guy's like, I'm out. Bye. Because <laughs> that's his power, is he just banishes himself. He's like, I'll, I'll sit this one out. Oh, he's got so few life points. And I have so many. <laughs> of course, I drew Ancient Leaf with my Ancient Leaf. What better could I hope for? <laughs> uh, you could have hoped you had... 11,000 life points to resolve it. Oh, he's standing right in front of me. He's like, I'm gonna... <laughs> and he got a spell card. Oh, he got a good one, too. Okay, so he could detach a spell to draw one card. But, yeah, he got this. This is in the... When this is in the graveyard, it's like... Uh... You can do stuff with it. it. What was it? If a dragon would be destroyed, you can banish that instead. Oh, so he doesn't want to so put it... So if he detaches <laughs> it, then it, he's saved me. Or at least helped me. I mean, oh, there it goes. I mean, if he sends it back to the deck, oh, hey, hunting can't grounds. save that. Is that the hunting grounds over there? Yeah, he targeted this one, but I'm gonna be like, negate your effect. And this thing, like, you can activate it from the hand. If you set it, then whatever column it's in, that like every spell trap that's activated in that column gets negated this turn. Dang. So if this is something he can use, he can't now. Wow. It's always great when you, like, set this, and then you, like, negate a monster, and they're like, yeah, well, I'm gonna draw two cards, and they play it in the middle column, and then they're fucked. <laughs> um, he keeps eating your cards. You should eat his monster. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. Stop doing that. Oh, oh it still eats it. It still eats it. He took my other man. Wait, wait, wait. You can use its effect, can't you? No, it's if I can't use its effect. Yeah, trap. If it has a trap, it can ascend any <laughs> card back to the deck. It got a trap. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's down to 150 life points. It's difficult for him to lose at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we beat dead rats. Harpies. We beat harpies. Dragon I, eats I, harpies. I wonder. Okay, I gotta know. <laughs> what was what? your set card? <laughs> Harpies. One second, we'll be right back. <laughs> it was double or nothing the whole time! <laughs> and the monster's attack is negated, target that monster. It, it can make a second attack during this battle phase, and if it does, its attack is doubled. Dang! It's like, what was he doing? Well, I think he was using this as an engine for... Utopia Double! Really? So it's two level fours. Quick effect. You can detach one material, add double or nothing from your deck yeah, to your hand. Yeah. Um, let's see. Then special summon from your extra deck one Utopia Ixy monster, except for Utopia Double, by using this card. And if you do, its attack becomes doubled, but it can't attack directly. So basically, he'd do that. He'd summon out the Utopia next to him and double his attack power. Yeah, he, he basically, he summons out 
gets this. He already has the double or nothing. He summons Utopia. Utopia's effect is when a monster declares an attack, you can detach to negate it. He negates his own attack, activates double or nothing, and then attacks again for 10,000. <laughs> but not directly. Because this doubles it, and then this doubles it again. <laughs> but not directly. Not directly, but if I had any monster, like, if I had my 3,000 dragon and he has 10... 7,000, yeah, yeah, shit. It's still a lot of damage. The harpies are just the... The shadow play. They're just the yep. He's just using it the rank four engine. Anyway, let's go to the next one. <laughs> All righty then. Here we are, seventh duel. This one brought to you by Patreon sponsor Joe Barrera, another new patron. We have so many. That's why I have so many shout outs to give and so little time to give them in. Uh oh. Oh, uh, we might be able to make this work if I can guess. Uh, activate. Monster. Monster. Shit. No! Metaverse! That could be anything. It could be Mystic Mine. <laughs> it probably is Mystic Mine. If it's fucking Mystic Mine again, I'm gonna shit my fuck. <laughs> Whoa. I know! It's that drastic! Can't you stop it? I have my twin twisters. Oh, uh, that's this fine. Is, this is not looking good. This is the card you use, because you gotta banish six cards randomly from your extra deck. So uh, this is what you use when you're not using your extra deck. You mm. can just fill it up with, like, elemental hero fusions and be like, whatever, <laughs> nerd. And just be Whoa. Time Lords. Alrighty, then. I have something for this. Um, it's not be disturbed by Battle of Card Effects. This card battled has your opponent's LP. I need those LP. Link a Park. Look at what. Remix. He's gonna kill you. Not immediately. Oh, that's half your um, life. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope. Mo mo motion man. Ouch, my most of me. Uh. Yep, zero attack, but it can't be destroyed by battle, and neither player take atta damage from attacks involving it. Uh. This is definitely Mystic Mine. He just teched this in, so he has. Well, now we each control a monster, so I can activate monster effects. Well, except it's uh. It's going to go back to his deck during his turn. Yeah, during his next turn. But yeah. I might be able to do stuff before then. Yeah, and they often play Lilith, Lady of the Men Lament. Because she can tribute herself off, and then you pick like three trap cards, and one randomly gets set to your field. Jesus. So it's like, I put this on the field, and then I immediately get rid of it for more trap cards. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All this meta hurts me a little bit. Yeah. Not a fan of the meta. Not a fan of it. This is barely meta, but it's fine, because now I can end phase Twin Twisters and be like, Fuck yo, couch! <laughs> yeah, that's right! No Wabaku for you! Oh, no Wabaku or... What was the other one? Um... Oh, Metaverse. Yeah, so that he can't get his Mystic Mine out. Um, Unless he's already got one! If I had any! <laughs> um... So, this guy, if I control no other monsters, I can summon a, a level 3 or lower fiend-type tuner from my hand or graveyard. So I get this guy. Yo, what's up? Good call. I discarded him. Now I can make my, my friend, Giant Blade. Does Red Dragons? Nah. Giant Blade Turbo. <laughs> but it doesn't do any uh, damage. Um. And you can't stop him. No, because I can... I can negate his effects. Can you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you couldn't. Yep. Dark Bride! Oh, you knew it! <laughs> Alright then, I guess I should have summoned this, but I was like, you know, whatever it is, I'm in the same column, so I'll just negate whatever trap he has, except no. it's a counter trap. Um. Alright then, we'll call it a draw. <laughs> I'll just take my blade elsewhere. Go away. Fuck! <laughs> you know, if he would have let you keep it... Let me keep what? Like, if he would have let you uh, hit it, then it's, he wouldn't have gone back, right? Uh, I would have killed it, because it, its effect to oh, not right. be destroyed by battle would have been negated. Now there's a chance he just drew it again. Or a, uh... Well, it's unlikely. 
Yep, just tribute off Lilith. Bye, Lilith. It's like there's all these there's all this argument between if Ojama Trio. Oh. He wants to make sure. There's a lot of argument between like pretty much everyone who plays the game, like even remotely oh, competitively, is. is like Mystic Mind needs to be banned immediately. And then there's all these people who are like, Mystic Mind takes skill. It's a fun game. Trying to play around it. I'm like, fuck you and fuck everything that you stand for. Like, yeah. I used to play Rogue. I used to be one of those people like, I don't do the meta. But even I, like, d this is just dumb. Um, Think about it. People probably said the same thing back in the day. They were like, oh no, Dragon Rulers are fine. You just gotta work <laughs> around them. No, it's it. It's not dragon rulers. This would be more equivalent to like, like skill drain deck. Uh, or just like, oh, I'm gonna play three skill drain, three macro cosmos, just like all the floodgates. Like you don't need it. Dude, cards. What the fuck? This guy. <laughs> cards. Uh, <laughs> you can't do anything. I could pretend. I'm half tempted to just sit here until time runs out. I'll be like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, you just, you like to sit here and do nothing, apparently. So, uh. I'm just giving you what you want, buddy. Clearly you don't want to have an interactive back-and-forth game. No. Uh, this is boring. Yeah, I guess we'll just we'll be back when it's over. Or if we happen to do a thing. It's not likely anything will happen. There's always a chance we'll do a thing. Remember, wisdom is the power of knowing. <laughs> YouTube content! <laughs> <laughs> wisdom is the power of knowing. Mm. Truer words were All right. ever said. Good, it ended. Good. Next. Yeah, it ended. We ran out of time. There's, here's four chain links, though. We went and watched Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. We watched the Rank 10 video. It was wor it was much better than watching the rest of the duel. It was much more entertaining. Subscribe to Rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Subscribe to everyone. Here we are in the 8th <laughs> duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Baxter Takaro 666. Power of Satan up in here. I like that you called him a sponsor. Yeah. It's like a monster sponsor. <laughs> it's pretty neat, I kind of like it. We're up against one who is not the first the first one. He's the, uh, he's the eighth one. We're playing against Code Talkers. They're pretty cool. They're Navajos. They did stuff in the World War II. You remember that. No. Oh. I remember, I think there was a Code Talker in a Metal Gear Solid Five. Ah. Interesting if true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm writing stuff. I have a piece of paper where I keep track of all the, the shoutouts and everything. And I need to write down who gets what, because oftentimes I get people who join the Patreon. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it's, I just ignore it. It'll be done soon enough. Oh, he's got there, an X you on go. your zone. Does hey, that mean you can't put anything there? I can't put anything there. Aw. Um, oh! Spiral Super Agent. Is Ground Collapse still legal? Yes. How many? Three. Oh, I want to play all three. Oh, he negated it. That's no good. Did he destroy it? Oh, he banished it. Yeah, negate and banish. That's better than negate and destroy. Wow, what a in, fucker. In some circles. Can I say um, that? Yeah, you can. What a fucker. Uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, low zones, you can only... Uh, your opponent cannot target any of them with card effects. Okay. That's cool, bro. So, I can get this. And then uh, this guy lets me get uh, this guy. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. My name is my name is Red Resonator. I can't target his shit, so I'll just gain my 2100. As you do. And so here's the thing. Mostly we play this guy, because this is like all special summon monsters with 3,000 or less attack. Yeah. Score. Good against most situations. He has 31. He also... Old <laughs> school Red Dragon. Um, oh, he fuck, has this is the wrong one. Monsters. <laughs> you put the wrong dragon in your deck? I put the wrong... One. Whoops. I thought they were the same. Okay, there's there's another one that's just like destroy all attack position monsters. I oh. thought I had that one in here. I'm going to switch that out. That is my bad. 
But it's oh. okay, because he loses attack when he gets destroyed. I didn't know that. But yeah, there's another guy that's like, destroy all attack position monsters, except himself, but he can't declare an attack, or only he can attack that turn. Oh. So it's not as good as this guy, who doesn't have any re attack restrictions, and also burns, and can destroy, like, even defense position monsters and stuff like that. Man. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a slam dunker. He's coming in with that basketball. Wait, did I just get banished? I didn't want to get banished. Uh-oh. I had a thing to get me out of the graveyard. If you banish me, I can't get out of the graveyard. Well, fuck. Damn. Oh, is it just for... Oh. Um... Get temporarily dunked. No, Ancient Leaf! You're everything I needed. <laughs> um... Well, actually, I gotta thank that guy. Because... Now... He got him out of the field, out of the zone. Now you can put something else in the zone. Oh, he could just do that every turn. Well. Um. Can he do that forever? Yeah, just every turn he could just banish it. Uh. Can't you, like, summon something else? Set. I don't have any non tuners. I have nothing but tuners. Uh, no. So if I draw a level four, then yes, I could do a whole bunch of stuff. And he uh... got me out of the extra monster zone, so I'm happy. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Cybers monster. Oh, he didn't have a Cybers monster. This guy in the graveyard, he has an effect. I haven't used it yet, but he could summon two level one Synchrons from out of the graveyard. Mm. That's not useful at the moment, but it might be useful at some point. Yeah. <laughs> if I get another level one. Wait, what's the fire guy do? The little fire resonator? This guy, he summons a level four from my hand. Ah, you should um, you should summon him and get life points and then use the leaf. I'm going to use this now because he forgot to do it. Well, he might do it in response. Yeah, he could, but now he's already dead. He should have done it during my... St oh, oh, that's why. Nah. Now I see. Remind me, don't activate anything in the middle zone. <laughs> if I was like Monster Reborn right there, I'd be... Um, let's see. That's fine, though. No, that's fine. Did I mention... What, that the, fine. Yeah. It's, it's fine? Get get life points. Okay, it's already negated. I don't know why you're banishing shit. Probably because he didn't want you to summon anything off it. Okay. Um, does he have a level 4? Does he have anything? No. He has a bunch of level 1s and some link monsters and shit, so I still can't activate my... I'm not going to be able to do the thing that I want. We're going to activate this way over here, off the beaten path. Let's just get my Red Rising Dragon back. Hello? Is it's it me, me you're looking for? Meh. Um. Yeah, can you just summon another one? Yeah. I'll just do that. <laughs> and then use its effect? Or we'll just do that. He's even bigger. He's a big boy. He's a big old boy. Um. And then we'll bring this one back. <laughs> Try this again. Thank you. <laughs> what happened? I won. That's what happened. <laughs> 3,000 plus 3,500. That's more than he has. That escalated very quickly. That escalated. Like I said, when this deck works, it just works, <laughs> all right? You can do stuff. It's just when the deck doesn't work, it fails terribly. It works about three out of ten times so far. To be fair, like, even my most meta deck would probably lose to Mystic Mind, so those ones barely count. Either way, <laughs> let's go ahead that was, into that the was duel eight. ninth duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, ninth duel. This one brought to you by our final Patreon sponsor of the evening, of the day, Striker, with a Q. Oh. Thanks to him, down in the comments. Haven't we heard of him before? Yeah, he's he's exi he exists. He sounds familiar to me. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I, I hope he has a good day. He's not really on the like Discord or anything that I know of. Although it's hard to tell. There's a lot of people like on the Discord who like use different names from like the Patreon and uh -oh. other places. Oh no! Fuck you! Fortunately, we have this guy who's just like if you control a fiend, summon it. And he can only use. I oh, know if he has another one, he can use it again. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have another one that he can use again. You've got to use your, uh... And of course, now I have the ability to do this in no Ancient Leaf. Ah. You're going to use your call-out before he has something down to block it? 
my call out? The uh, middle one, the Redinator call. Oh, um... Yeah, probably. Special summon, and then we get the thing. The thing that gives us a chance to do it. Get that back. And I'm going to get, since I have two of these already... You're gonna get a third one. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I'm gonna get Chain Resonator. This guy's like the win harder card. It's like, if you normal summon it while you control a Synchro, you can summon any other Resonator from the deck. Whoa! So it's like, if you need another more life points, you can just summon another one of these. If you need another level one because you want to go into fucking Archfiend King Calamity, you just grab another one of your level ones. I'm a big fan You're of King Calamity. Oh. I remember you! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, do we already fuck this person? No, they're just playing the same thing. But, yeah, that's something I'm going to have to negate. Oh. Why couldn't I negate it? I guess because it activated in the hand. You can't negate nothing. <gasps> um, let's see. Rain Wedge, but it cannot be attributed. If this card is normal, a special summon. Okay, so... Negate this one, so then he can't grab the ball, the last one. That's the one that lets <laughs> him go... Right now he's got level 7, and then that last one lets him go to level 8. But now he can't get it. I really like the icon you went for with that. Yeah. It, I said, it, I, I'm equally... It works great. Like, if I'm negating someone, it's like, yeah, fuck you. And if I get negated, uh -oh. it's like, oh no. Battle wasp. Sting the poison. I've never heard of this archetype. <laughs> it's new. I don't know how it works. Um, add one battle wasp from your deck to your hand. Accept itself. You contribute one other insect. Target an effect monster your opponent controls. Negate its effects until the end phase of this turn. And only use each of its effects once per turn. Alright. That's pretty strong. So now he's got a level 2 tuner instead of a level 1. So... That's not as good. That's a level 3. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can also not special summon for the rest of the turn except for insects. Ooh. I feel safer. <laughs> ah, that means he can't build it. There's no good insects. <clears throat> not that I'm aware of. I mean, I'm sure there's battle wasps. I assume synchros because... We've got tuners. Yep, there we go. Azusa the Ghost Bow. That looks kind of cool. When you're oh, okay. Well, never mind. It's gone. Goodbye. Uh, Hammer the Conquering Bow. Uh oh. Uh, if this was used, summoned with a synchro monster, it can make a second attack. Uh oh. It inflicts damage. You can have all monsters lose a thousand at the end of the battle phase. If your opponent did not take battle damage, inflict three hundred damage for each battle wasp in your graveyard. Ah, oh, took you out of 9,000 club. And he sir. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, hey, more resonators. Just what I owe it. It, it. That's the thing. It's like, you either start with no resonators, or you start with all the resonators. <laughs> I'm shocked you haven't started with two ancient leaves yet. Hey, don't, don't jinx it. Well, there's only one, one more to jinx. But we didn't, you know what? No matter what happens... We didn't go zero and ten. <laughs> Did not go zero and ten. We're, we're not going to break halfway, like I said at the beginning. We might. Maybe four? We're up four right now. Oh, we're at four? We're at four. How? Uh, it, uh, there was the bomb, so that was the one where you fought yourself. And then there was the one in between the two Mystic Mines. And then we won the last two. Huh. Weird. It feels like this has done nothing but lose, but maybe that's just me. Did we win the one before this? Did Either I... way. No, yeah, because last... you did a shit ton of damage. Yeah. Last duel. It's the final countdown. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep that in. I think I'm going to keep... Welcome to the final <laughs> duel. I hope you enjoy the little acapella. Just sort of impromptu singing. It worked um, out really well. This... We're at currently four and five. This is the last chance to make or break. I think we broke. I think we broke, yeah. <laughs> Unless... Even if we... No. This is like the one resonator that we can't special summon. Um, If we get uh -oh. the one guy burning abyss, all right. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Good. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I didn't want it to count. Let's go find a real final duel. Should still leave that bit in, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm definitely leaving that in. 
probably leaving all this in. I guess while we're here, in be- like in between the duels, do you want to explain the name? Because you came up with the name. Ah, uh, yeah. That's I was told that this was a deck full of red dragons, and I I'm not sure what you were gonna go with. I was gonna be Jack Atlas. Yeah, and he was all like, "Do you know any red dragons?" I'm like, "Niv Mizzet." He's all like, "What?" And I'm like, "It's the only red dragon I know from Magic: The Gathering." So it's kind of a different game, but he's... It's still a red drag. Comment in the comments if you got it before we said anything. Also, comment if I'm wrong. Oh, fuck. We're going up against me. Oh, these are great. I must face myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're Salaman great. That's the name of a uh, Persona song. You remember... You remember face yourself. You remember that, that great... Uh... Yeah, that card was great. Yeah, the great Salami. <laughs> <laughs> that's That's what these guys are. That ain't Falco. That's... See, that's that's a different meme because oh, he played okay. Salaman Great Falco. <laughs> gotcha. They're not salamanders. Apparently, it's named after some sort of like thing that reincarnated or something. Couldn't tell you. They do this stuff. Well, called... then again, are they all on fire? Yeah. Okay, because that is a uh, a salamander thing in like mythology. It's like you get the they're a fire monster. Huh. Usually kind of lizardy, but uh, if these are all reincarnations of a salamander. Salamander's on fire. Yo. They, they have this mechanic in the, the anime they call it reincarnation summon. Uh, but basically what it is is like they have a field spell that's like you can use a link and just summon another copy of the same monster using that as material. And then uh, all their monsters have effects that are like if this was summoned using a monster with the same name it gets like a bunch of there's effects. There's a the field effect. Yeah. So he can, like, use these two, make a level two, and do the thing. The thing about them, this is, like, one of the few meta decks that, like, it's very powerful, but it feels pretty fair most of the time. At Are least... you going to be able to do anything about it? Uh, probably not, unless I get twin twisters or something. I don't know, we'll see if I can hit the one thing he does. Because he's going to get this. Their whole thing is that basically they can search a trap. And then they've got two traps. One's just, like, a negate. Negates whatever. And then there's this one that's, like, blow up two cards. Mm. And then they can just repeat that every turn. So it's... They're not super strong. Oh, are those those traps that don't leave when they're just, when they're used? No, they're used, but he recycles them. Oh, okay. So their whole thing is just, like, one-card combos to recycle stuff. Ugh. Um, let's see. Are you going to assume you're playing mostly monsters? Show me a monster! Hell yeah, hey. Lady Debug. Um, over here... <laughs> Yo, what's up? And I'm just gonna blow up the thing that I know what it is because you foolishly didn't set everything at once. You cycled it back and then got it. He's like, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Target one card on the field. Destroy it. Oh no. Yeah, or it's target cards up to the number of uh, link rating he has. So he's a rank two, a link two. Mm. So he could target two cards. Um, fortunately, though, that was a special summon, so unless this, one of these is also the negate... I think one of them is, no, not the negate, but is that card. I think he had in one of those already. Usually they only play one of each because they can search them so easily. Uh, we'll see. That's the thing, is, like, you can kind of play around Salomon Grapes once you know, like, kind of what they do. Oh, hey, um, no. No? Not yet. Oh, could you get one a turn? I can get 2100, and then maybe resolve Ancient Leaf on the meta deck. <laughs> oh, how dumb will this be? Fuck! Ah. Great Salami, no! <laughs> yep, he had both. Wop, wop, wop. Um, that's... that's... Fine, though. I don't, I don't need to do stuff. I, can... uh, I think you do need to do stuff. Can you activate that? Fuck, if I had if I had gained the life points, I would have been able to do that, wouldn't I have? Yeah. Oh, I could have ancient leafed. I thought, I was like, if he didn't negate the normal summon, he wouldn't negate anything past that, but... No. no. It's okay, though. I could steal one of his things at the most inopportune of times. None of their stuff has protection against stuff like that. Um, oh, wait. Normal, you can add normals to, uh, during your main phase, the control card that was Link Summoned using itself, you can add one spell trap from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So yeah, he gets that back. 
Mm. But he has to target a link monster that he controls and destroy stuff equal to its link rating. Mm. So if he just ends with this, I can steal it, and then he won't be able to activate that. Maybe. Same thing, his counter trap requires him to hold to have a Salaman Great Link on the field. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, you're living for the weekend. Everybody's working for What's the do? weekend. Um, let's see. That doesn't if do a much. monster special summons, you can... Okay, add a fire from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, but what's the other guy do? Uh, he can detach to summon a Salaman Great from the deck. And then if it's sent as material, you can target one monster on the field and return it to the hand. Yikes. Which it's going to be. I like its name, though. Mirage Stallio. Hey. It goes into Jack Jaguar. Jet Jaguar. He looked like Jack uh -oh. Nicholson. Uh-oh. Who's that? That's a bad guy. He can steal my shit, but I'm going to steal his shit. Then we'll see who's who. Eh. <laughs> oh. He took it back. Why? Oh, it's still... Sh okay. Well... I done goofed. <laughs> Wait, why? I should have stolen his his Link 2 when I had the chance. Maybe I should have just started off by doing that, but then he would have just built another one. Yep, a sad state of affairs. I almost had a shot against them. No. If well, only I had Ancient Leaf when I had the chance, yeah. but I didn't activate it smartly. I activated it hardly. You were getting greedy. I got greedy, and now I'm going to get dead. Super Polly! Whoa! Fuse with all the monsters. Hard to greed, hard to leg. Violet Chimera. So violet. Gains attack equal to half the attack of the monsters used for it. Damn. Well, a sad state of affairs, but at least we lost to powerful stuff. We didn't, like, lose to Dark Neos or something like that. Ah. Either way, let's go to the end screen. <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Red Dragon Archfiend Turbo 2019. We went, what, four and six? Need some work. Need some work. You know what? That's, that's pretty good, considering how old this deck is and how, like, poorly... The fact that I main decked Ancient Leaf. Three times, no three, less. Th three times. <laughs> but you know what? It worked about... It worked a little better than I was expected. I was worried we might not get any wins at all. And, and you know what? We went up against some pretty strong decks. Two spell mining decks, plus Salaman greats. The fact that we did anything at all is actually kind of surprising. That's a good way to put it. And you know what, what? was that uh what was that deck again? The what? one where uh you said, Oh, at least it's not mines but it was <laughs> that was subterrors. I, I still hate yeah. them worse than mines. Subterrors are kind of a, if I ever play subterrors, I'll be sure to have you on. If it's ever if it's underground or underwater I'm not a fan of stuff that's under other stuff. <laughs> Archfiends are fine, because who knows where hell actually is. But, but yeah. E either way, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this regardless. Like I said, the deck's not very good. I honestly didn't play very well, and our opponents were kind of shit. But I think we had fun regardless. It's fun hanging out with you, Ron. I hey. appreciate you coming down. Again, check out Legs Play if you'd like to see more of him. Next time, I've got a Patreon request for Speedroids. So Ooh. we're doing even more synchro summoning. And until then, good luck and have fun. <laughs>